Conan Exiles. Conan. Well, we're heading back. Yeah, yeah, we are. About time. When, when did you say? Yeah, it was uh, 2016? No, 2019. 2019. Man, you were on point with <laughs> So my nine was upside down. Yeah, right. it was. All right. So 2019 yeah. August. Yeah, I just looked I just looked at the channel. That's the last time we played, or last time we uploaded a video, so we would have played right before that. Yeah. That's Late 2019. Mm-hmm. Things have what? changed. Well, that was like, yeah, then COVID and such. Uh, yeah. What wow. Yeah, we, <laughs> we went through all that. Yeah. That was the last, since the last Crazy. time we played Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> So yeah, Ark's taking another break. Yep. And we're moving into moving into Conan, and that's gonna be exciting. And I don't really know anything new. Really like the latest new stuff is there was like a sorcery update so we could do Yeah, I know since the last we played they've added mounts like you can ride certain animals. Yeah. Tame certain animals and all that. Know, yeah. And then uh yeah, they've added sorcery. Yeah. So we could become ma- magicians. I don't know. I'm in. I've, all I've seen is trailers. I have a brief you know, a little inkling of an understanding of what we're going to be able to play with, but I have no clue. We had fun in there, and, yeah, and uh, those videos are great looking back at them, too. Like, they just have a good vibe. I dig them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that, that world's fun to explore because yeah. the climbing mechanic, it's ripped right out of uh, Breath of the Wild, where you yep. can just climb anything, yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. Love it's great when you can in that game. jump over a ravine, lay on the wall, grab it, slide yeah. down. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, and the fighting. Right. Fighting's pretty good, too. Fighting's Fighting pretty was good. Fun. I wonder yep. if that's been updated at all. I don't know. It was already good. The rolls and the blocks and the... anything you you know you, you just think it got better no matter what. Everything should be so much better, more fluid. Yeah, you know, if they already knew what they were doing in the beginning. They're just going to keep on going the right way. I think. I always, yeah. I always love that they're uh, just like all the bosses out in the world too that you can go and fight on. Yeah, your, the mini ones at, at your will. Yeah, it feels like yeah when you compare Conan to Ark. I just I think I like Conan much better just because of that. Mm-hmm. It's like there are enemies and bosses and places out there in the yeah. world to explore. And, they, and if I remember correctly, you usually get something for doing it. Yeah, I think you do. Because why the fuck else would you? Yeah, you get do like otherwise? a like to, to unlock a weapon, like a sword or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's a reward for your effort. Yeah, that's a great way. What to a concept. <laughs> yeah, what a concept. And I'm curious about like mounts. I think mounts will add a lot. I mean, the thing I like about Ark is you can kind of tame things and paint them and mm-hmm. personalize yeah. them, and you got like you got a buddy with you. Right. So I'm, I'm curious to see what Conan's added. And as far yeah. as how fast you can traverse the map with a arc, and what the yeah. with the arc, I, I, an, uh, what, what is it again? Argentavis? A mount. Why did mount. I say mount. arc? Arc was in know. my head with yeah. an arc. <laughs> with a mount. Um, with an arc. Just riding around with an arc. <laughs> you know, yeah, end of the world like, shit. The process. I'm curious. How long does it take? What do you need to do? Is it something that you know? Some things in arc obviously are kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, oh right? man, so yeah. Well, that's one be... thing I do remember from Conan is like some things are a pain in the butt. Um, I think you know we'll probably play with server settings and things like that. I'd imagine but once you tamed it. So you you actually remember going in there and privately and taming I've, something? I played I Conan maybe okay, a couple years too. ago after they added taming. I played a little bit of Isla Sipta, and here's what I remember: you have to build like a big cage. Big well, they like had that when we were cage. playing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then you have to get a baby animal, and you put the baby animal in the taming cage. Yeah. It grows up. We had, like, rhinos and yeah. wolves We'd pick or up something. the babies, yeah. and we'd be a heavy because we're carrying a baby for That's some reason. Right. We were, like, overloaded. So the only thing is we just couldn't um, there were no ride mounts. them. We just can't, couldn't ride them, and mm-hmm. that was it. See? Yeah. It's been a long time. It in, has. In all fairness, Simon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. With the thralls. I like having the thralls. Oh, yeah. Shoes. Knocking she people out, dragging them back to base. Yep. Making I, them work for you. I wonder where we're going to make our base this time. Oh, man, where? I what like it? the last base we had. It just, oh, yeah, that castle I built yeah. between the cliffs. That, oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Which one were you other thinking? Base? Well, the, the one, one that we were it? the majority of the game. Oh. By the one, river? Below it, know, by the, the river. God, I need to go back and... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, we were there forever. Yeah. I'm glad you don't remember some of it. <laughs> no, I do, I do now. Any of it. Yeah. Like, no, I remember, huh? yeah, because I remember the the last episode, we had the gods. And oh, what, yeah. Like, they, I think it was you, Duralius, you stomped my castle. Oh, I was like, yeah. my, I was, bleh, Yogg was just bleh, <laughs> spitting all over from above. It was really yeah, fun. It was fun. Maybe Yogg. we had a, a blacksmith named Will Smith? No, no, Maybe we get God. Will Smith the voice at this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that giant castle you made between the cliffs was the the least used giant base we've ever made. I yeah, no, probably, but it looked cool. We were there two like, days. <laughs> That's it was what like he two episodes it was in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going up and having one meeting up there. Yeah, but it. it looked cool. <laughs> it did look cool. Not the most convenient. You had a half hour to take no, the yeah, elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to take an elevator. Yeah. It took six hours just to go up to it. <laughs> That's right. It was slow as shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
I do remember that. I remember being quite annoyed. You don't want to go anywhere. Right. right? Just stay home, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Or so just don't go up there. If I build another big castle, I'll, choose, I'll do this one on the ground. It should yeah, be centralized. Somewhere, yeah. yeah, somewhere more accessible, centralized. I appreciate yeah. your vision, though, and you yeah. you guys rolled with it. All right. I remember that episode. You guys were like talking about it, and then you couldn't get it out of your head, Abster, which is how your brain works. Yeah, yeah. And Simon was there to help, as Simon does. I'm a big help. Yeah. We should build in more convenient places in every game. Like, why aren't we just neighbors to the trader right now? In seven days. Hmm. It'd be good to be well, neighbors. It's not far right? away. Yeah. He's right around the corner. It'd be nice just to go well, walk next thing. door. Usually the traders are on the outskirts of town. Okay. So, I mean, our options are just kind of smaller country houses. It's almost better to be, like, in the middle of three traders somehow than right next to one. Because yeah. you always want to have, you want to, you mix them up. Well, in the random gen worlds, I think each town has a trader one. associated with it. Yeah, it's only each one trader. Gotcha. Sure, so, in could, between like, the towns. Yeah, I'm sure you could spawn a trader, yeah. mod it somehow. Yeah. I feel like the towns we've been in have had pretty good locations. Like that one that I renovated, that was right kind of near us to begin with. We could have lived right next door. Yeah. Yeah. No, we could have, I reckon. Yeah. We got options. We could go back. Thank you to our sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready to eat meal kit. Chef prepared meals delivered straight to your door, and they are delicious. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat up and enjoy. And I've eaten a lot of Factor. I order their food and I've been loving it. Aside from everything tasting great, it saves me a lot of time cooking and a lot of trips to the store. And I'm eating healthier with Factor because I'm avoiding fast food. And they have options out the wazoo. I usually go with the chef's choice, but they also have keto, vegan, and veggie, calorie smart, and protein plus options on the menu each week. Prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians, and each meal is prepared fresh and never frozen, using the best ingredients and delivered straight to your door. You want to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. You'll save a ton of money, and the meals are ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. So if you have ever considered trying a ready-to-eat meal kit, then head over to factor.com slash 50 and use code NEBS50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code NEBS50 at factormeals.com slash NEBS50 to get 50% off your first box. Thank you, Factor. Darkness Falls is being mean to us. It's spawning the squids. They're they're finally out there yeah. on their own. Yeah, Solo squids out Got in the it. boot. I haven't seen one yet, but I heard Jack talking about it. Yeah. Oh, and... uh. I'd like to say a little bit more detail. We should be in Conan. Could be here there in a few weeks. Mm-hmm. It's something that not only we're we're getting back into, but it's soon. Yeah. So we're going to clarify. That's it. Yeah. I just need to clarify that. Yeah, three, four, or five weeks, somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, clarify. And by Ada, Ada, Goddess Ada Hop. Is that where we coined the name Goddess? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, in she was the goddess game. in that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, her floating yeah. around in like a... Uh, Being creepy. <laughs> whatever you call that. Spectator. You can't call it. Oh, it was like it was like a floating applesauce. Yeah, like meditation position <laughs> uh, all the time. Conan, Conan, Conan. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to going back. Conan, like Man I gotta say it now because y'all did. Yeah, Conan. yeah you have to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Science, fun com. <laughs> what is that them? Yeah, that's fun com. Yeah, fun oh, right. com. Yeah. I wow. say it. Why is that in your brain? I don't know because they're making Conan <laughs> and Dune. Who and makes Dune? Who makes Ark? Uh, wild Ooh. card. Look at you. Seven Shit. days? I didn't remember that. Uh, seven yeah. days is fun, Pimps. Yeah. Man, what? you're a real yeah. gamer. So I'm going to throw out one more at you. Sure. Mm. <laughs> 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 what? I, don't, I don't play a lot of games. Long so. Dark. Long Dark? He wouldn't have to know. I wouldn't know that because well, I've never no, played it. It's Hinterland. Either. Oh, so what, like you would say Green Hell. That would be one that Do you, you know guess, that? Maybe. If you gave me a minute. Scrap yeah. Mechanic. Oh, I know that one. I know that one. Yeah. It's a fun game, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who makes what? <laughs> Starts with an A. That was the weirdest. Um, oh, by well, the way, Creep Jar, I believe, is uh, is seven. Is the, Green Hill? Is Green Hill? Is Green yeah. Hill. Yeah, yeah, creep yeah. Jar? Um, creep Jar. It is Creep Jar. Right? Might be. But uh, something like that. I remember I know the logo, and now I can't. Uh, give me. I, I might not ever. Have Starts known with an it. A. The next letter is an X. I might not have. Is it Axion? No. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? That's uh that does oh, that looks at your Oh fuck. 
now it's credit kinda, report. I mean, you've given me two letters, so it's. I mean, it's obviously stirring something, but I still yeah. don't fucking know. It's Axe a lot, but yeah. Oh, Axe a lot, yeah. It was one thing I was proud of as a young nerd in the video game world when it was just like Sega and Nintendo and stuff. Like <laughs> looking at all the magazines, I I knew who made every game. Like, really? I, like every developer. Yeah. But it wasn't much to keep track of at that time. Right, but yeah. it was something that you as a kid could go, yeah. ah, oh, this is cool, I could oh, do this. This is something yeah. I could do. Tato makes that. Yeah, that was made by mm-hmm. Interplay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds That's like, definitely Konami. I bet Anthony can do, <laughs> Anthony can probably do it today with all the games. Probably. Anthony probably could. He's, he's a game library. Man, today's just too much, though. It's true. I was like that with, um, I, I prided myself, and still do somewhat, which is weird, but... uh that I can look at any baseball cards from like, from let's just say the, the forties to the eighties. And I can, any baseball cards, I could just look through them and I could tell you which ones are worth money and which ones aren't. Hmm. Yeah. Through all those decades. Are they still worth Cause money? I know they're worth a little bit of well, money. You knew the good players. But I the... just know the good players. I know the good players through the decades where I can go like, Oh, I remember. Cause I would always look at the price guides and always look at everything I collect. And I, so I know and there's really not that many players. If you think about it, maybe no. like, 50 players that are worth money, you know, every year. What would be more impressive is if you saw that player, say it's someone uh, wearing a Baltimore Orioles yeah. jersey and that card, if you knew what team they played on prior. Uh, That'd be that more would, impressive. That would be impressive. But you know what also is impressive that I can do is for most of the years, I can I can tell you what year that baseball card was. But I guess it isn't really impressive, but hmm. I was I was happy with that. If I throw out some names, can you tell me if they're worth a lot of money? I could tell you if there were uh, players that were not a common, okay. which is a common cards were worth not, hardly anything. How about Bobby Jackson? Old Bobby J? No, not that name. I would say no. And it, Is that a baseball player? Did you just it is, you made us yeah, up a name. Yeah, I think you made it up. <laughs> it's like, as generic as it is, I don't think there's one Bobby Jackson that's not In a baseball? Over baseball. all these years? Reggie no, that's Jackson. worth money. Uh, in from the Reggie 80s Jackson. to the 40s. Of course, Reggie Jackson. Okay. <laughs> what about, <laughs> like, about what Tom Arnold? Bobby Jackson Tom. Is a basketball coach. There you go, basketball coach. I'm talking <laughs> well, baseball. This card's not worth much. <laughs> but how much was Tom Arnold? Tom Arnold. You know Tom Arnold's a <laughs> fat, drug-addicted actor. How about Michael Jordan? It's Roseanne. Michael Jordan's baseball card. Yeah, uh, yeah. Michael Jordan. I should know what team he played. That was after. That's the Bulls. No, but he played baseball. Have, he did. Oh, that's right. He had a baseball career. For a little bit. Lasted I mean, like a season. He yeah. had a baseball team here in Wilmington, didn't he? he or they practiced been, here. He might have been on the, the White Sox. Nope, that's not it. He might have been. For a year. With yeah. Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, yeah. obviously. Anyway, whatever. All right. Um, any, anything for you guys? My daughter was trying to get me. She's like, I want you to get into like Pokemon cards. And I'm like, that's why I, I had baseball cards in my mind. That's today. weird that she yeah. wanted you to get into something she really loves. Like no, that. no, which is great. And I'm and I related it to this is I used to be into baseball cards when I was a kid. So I understand why. Because she's into yeah. it because of money, too. She's oh. like, this one's she's worth, I got one that's <laughs> worth 50 bucks and I got one that's worth whatever. And I'm like, I can get into this. Okay. Yeah. But she doesn't understand yet. Like you can't just buy shit and you're going to find the stuff that's yeah. worth money. In it. That's right. Like not where I, I could see yeah. you and your daughter at the school shaking people down. Yeah. <laughs> trying to try to take to, oh no, that's, that's nothing. That's worth nothing. We'll take that from you. I'll okay. take that Charizard. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I got a butterscotch for you. There you go. I'll take you Bobby Jackson. I just advise you not <laughs> waiting outside in the van, you know, as she brings you. The Dude. victims. I just got a really nice again. van too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have told me no this windows. last week. No windows. It's, nice. it's white, but it's got rust it around the windows. It plays an ice cream it's jingle beautiful. as you yeah. roll around. It's got a slushy dispenser outside of it. <laughs> it's got a, a, an actual air conditioning unit that you normally see in a house that's cut into the window and the back door, yeah. like the back doors. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. And this is yeah. all for Pokemon trading. Nothing. Nothing. Bad. <laughs> so so what are the right out like, of the gutter. If, right. you, if you had the the no, the knowledge at the time you would have bought every like first generation pokemon card that's with everything though oh yeah with yeah. everything yeah but yeah. i mean pokemon's one of those things like you know there's fads things come and go yeah. pokemon stuck around it, it, it still did. it's still it here it's very very profitable there's yeah. there's uh, i wonder how many to to look at the cards i'd be curious cuz uh, you know baseball cards there's you know there's probably i'm assuming a couple of hundred or a few hundred easily cards at least from the area the decades that i was talking about that are worth a, a good amount of money, ranging from you know really really valuable like a million dollars or something like that to like you know two thousand. 
five hundred or yeah, whatever. I don't know how is, many cards are like that for Pokemon. I have no idea, but yeah. And, and to me, it's like a treasure hunt. See, when I, when she told me this, I'm going like, okay, because you know, people at garage sales are throwing away shit. Oh, absolutely, all yeah, the time. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, that yeah. there are there are treasures out there that people are just for ready sure. to give away when for their sure. kids are going to like college and yeah, shit. Yeah, like oh, we're getting rid of stuff. Room. Oh, look, yeah, the cards they have no idea. Just throw it, ma. Be, Dude, yeah. it's what my neighbor does for a living. He goes out to yard sales. Oh, I know him. Find stuff. We both know. Who are you? Yeah. Jeff? Oh, not Jeff. Oh. <laughs> Who are you talking oh, about? Because up the road. Damn it. I'll keep going. Okay, yeah. No, I got a neighbor. That's what he does. He goes to yard sales, buys stuff, yep. and that he's, he knows his value and puts it online and sells it online. And he probably does well. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. And he's I making you, a living. Mm hmm. I know somebody uh, through, actually, I just, I know somebody through my brother. And point being is he does that shit too, but he'll be like, uh, he'll do big, like, we need to get all of these, this particular kind of hair dryer. It's like, okay, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll bid on that because I know I got to lean on it. Like, he knows where to go where people are looking for shit to ship yeah. in certain areas. He and knows he's there's like, a market. Oh, guess what? This one's in Chicago. That's an easy ship over here. So now I'm the middleman and I can, I make that transaction. I get a piece of the transaction. Shit, yeah. I Man, I really, you know, when it comes down to it, a lot of the times it's just understanding a market. It, yeah. it, it can be a niche market, but if you figure it out and you go, oh, I can buy things here, sell them over here, and I'm the middleman, and I can make it. Okay. And it's and it's really easy live in- enough to point and click, and all of a sudden yep. you, you made like seven grand that afternoon. Yeah. I saw an interesting business uh, last time I was in Moorhead. Uh, I went to this, um, it's like Moorhead City Burger Company. They make really good tuna burger. But right beside them, a business had opened called Bins. I was like, oh, we'll walk in here and check this out. And it looks like people went out to yard, these guys that own the store went out to yard sales, found stuff, brought it back to their storefront, and then they just have tables full of stuff. It's like, okay, here's your dollar table, $2 table, $5 table, $10 table, $20 table. And it's just all laid out. You just walk in there and just like, oh, I may not need this. Like, hmm. I found a virtual reality dinosaur headset that would normally retail for 50 bucks, And they're like, oh, it's in the $20 bin. And I, was, and I was going to see my niece, and I was like, she loves dinosaurs. I was like, shit, yeah, picked it up. Yeah, no, that's per- it's yeah. funny to say that, because there's a bin store in town. Just went to it for the first time, like, five days ago. Uh, it's over by Planet Fitness. Okay. Have you guys ever there's heard of this? There's a bunch of Planet Fitness. No, there's I one on Kerr. Okay. All right, there's right. a bin so, store near there. Kerr? Yeah, Kerr. I don't know why I called it that. And they, uh, they, they do, do it a little bit differently. Yeah. All right? So okay. it's very interesting. It is bins. Uh, but they've got like Friday's ten dollar day, then the next day it's eight dollar day. Next six, oh, but people go no there. Day. They go there on the Friday and and they go there early because that's the that's the run that's what, of it. Yeah, the first of course. Run. As the day goes, as the week goes on, they because the guy gave me the whole spiel. I kind of asked one guy that was stocking <laughs> stuff and doing things. I'm like, how does this really work? And he said, yeah. And as as the week goes on, they just kind of restocks it, and every day it goes down. And I went there on a Friday. I didn't see anything that was particularly good at all. Yeah. But I was just kind of going there to kind of feel for it. See what it was about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It was, uh, he's a neighbor of yours, like a couple blocks up, I guess. But uh, Kenyatta, remember Kenyatta? Yeah. He's a musician, right? Yeah, he was. But like his business, he's got like a warehouse and employees and it deals with. Stuff. Selling stuff just online. Stuff. But yep. is he friends with yeah. him or is he friends I just, with you? I was I like, when he said Kenyatta. that. Yeah, gotcha. so that's what I think I remember this <laughs> guy. I've never he heard a, this name. Yeah, he lives he was so near close you. To you. Okay. Yeah, yeah he was. That's I remember a big this, business actually. for a lot of people, just yeah. going out, and finding stuff. Dude, yeah. I'd love to understand it. I'd like to, I, I would love to. It doesn't uh, seem very hard to understand. You no. Just get stuff and well, sell it. Well, the thing is, you want to hit certain markets, I'm sure, probably more than others. I could be buying stuff and have a hard time selling. I don't know. I think he deals with a lot of publications. I think he deals with a ton of um, magazines and publications, like and, and that, tons. And that's where the fun, knowing the niche, niche yeah. or whatever yeah. to get into. Like, you know, Simon's looking I'm, for another job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll take it. I want to, uh, yeah. Well, why not have another income if you can? I just get somebody else to do it. Figure Set out. something up for somebody. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You're providing jobs. And yeah. Exactly. And yeah. trying to make a little bit of something. My neighbor's them. niche is in CDs and books. Because people, you go to yard sales, like, you know, give them away their old books for like a dollar. Yep. And he'll CDs, look at huh? Yeah. CDs, believe it or not. Hmm. But like shit, like musical like CDs. Yeah. Like clarinet CDs and shit. Really? Yeah. Just interest. See, that's really interesting because you'd think that there would be such a worry that 
things don't work properly or you you now have to take the time to listen to this DVD or CD to make sure it, it works properly. Yeah, I mean, if you, you know, even take the time to check thing. it. Well, I know, and that's the thing. Like, you can always just say, all right, I'm going to sell it, you know, I'm buy it for this, sell it for this, and if the customer comes back, hey, this doesn't work, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll give you a refund. Yeah. I'd do it that way. Like, I, yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't take the time and bother to fucking, yeah, no, like, that's I'm true. listen to every damn CD I buy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good stuff. Good gifts. That was my segue uh, to good the gifts. next topic. Yeah. yeah. Good gift. You got a gift do. topic? You know what would be a great gift? What? What is that? NordVPN. Oh. What better gift is there than one that's protecting your online data with top-tier encryption, which leads to peace of mind surfing the web? NordVPN is what some professionals call a peace mind giver. It's not very catchy, but it's true. And for my gamer colleagues that wish they were as good as I, I have some good news because there's no party like a LAN party. And NordVPN's MeshNet safely brings all your friends right to your room, no matter where they are in the world. Powered by NordLinks, MeshNet lets you directly connect to other devices to form your own secure virtual network for better internet connection speed and less lag, while giving you the same security as connecting to a VPN server. And on top of that, you could secure up to six devices with a single account by going to nordvpn.com slash neebs. And another big thing that Nord's great at is speed. And they coincidentally happen to be the fastest VPN out there. Go figure. Actually, that was quite intentional. They worked very hard to become the fastest VPN. So do yourself a favor and check out all the reasons you really need NordVPN at nordvpn.com slash Neebs. And with a two-year plan, you'll get four months for free. And you get to try it risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So go to nordvpn.com slash Neebs for a two-year plan and get four months for free. Thank you, NordVPN. Thanks, Nord. Hmm. Sorry, I interrupted. It just made me think of Horde VPN for like seven days. What was your gift you were talking about? I was just bringing, I was just going because I saw in there there was a birthday party written up there. Oh, I, your birthday party. Yeah. Which was yeah. Yeah, yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And I, I told my, my girl that I did not, I was like, I don't want a surprise party. Like all of her friends just had like. That's like, what you told her? Oh, yeah. oh, really? She, she asked you if anyway. you wanted a surprise she didn't give party? A fuck. <laughs> she, <laughs> I didn't know that. You know what she probably no, thought? <laughs> she didn't even ask me. I just know her and her friends, and it was like almost a guarantee given the, their track record. Well, she knew you weren't going to expect it when you blatantly said, I don't want one of these. So that made it easier for her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll just do it. So, yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> Now's the perfect time. I was floating around like that night was, um, it was just going to be a chill Saturday night. <laughs> Uh, so we go and have dinner and stuff like that. Man, she got me. She got me really good, and she was acting really good. I didn't know she was such a good actress. It's very impressive. Oh, uh, she lies to you all the time. Yeah. So meanwhile, it's your birthday. Yep. All of us know there's yes. a surprise party yeah, downtown. Mm -hmm. Right. We're, we're all there. I think at eight. Yeah. Supposed well, to be there at eight. Mm -hmm. so I've been, to be I've been there. downtown all damn day. So that was my last stop. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I went. That was the same day as at uh, the Nerd Expo we had downtown. Oh, yeah. So oh. I went downtown to the Nerd Expo, and then Anthony, Sherry, and I went to Retrocade, and we played old video games. Yeah, you were feeling good. Yeah, I'd been drinking all day. All day. Wow. <laughs> good for you that you can hang that long. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I was ready to party. We didn't have any uh, um, reservations or anything. Just went out for dinner and just like, eh, I felt like having some Tarantelli's little little uh, Italian and stuff mm. like that. And every, downtown was pretty busy with all the shit going on. And walked in there, and I was like, two seats at the bar. Perfect, because we like eating at the bar. And she was like, ah, oh, you have to have reservations to eat at the bar tonight. And we're like, ah, oh, shit. I'll, uh, well, let's just get a couple drinks then. And I know my girl right then was like, shit. She knew you didn't have time for that. She knew, but, but she played it off well. Like, were you expecting on getting dinner after the drinks? So she was thinking, we're going to get drinks here, then get dinner where? Somewhere else. Yeah, you had a whole nother location plan. Because I was, I was not in a hurry for anything. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that I had a slew of people waiting at... <laughs> and tapper. she started to get... there tapping her foot, looking at her watch. <laughs> yeah. Right. So then we move across the street, and we got in there pretty quick, which was nice. This new place, and had some dinner, and enjoying that drink and stuff like that. And I, she must... Her skin must have been crawling, because she's getting texts from... And there's a lot of people... Yeah, but wait, but here... Where you at? Where you at? Here's the thing, though. All right, well, I'm not sure why, because you literally showed up at, like, 8.02. So she did it. She oh, pulled yeah. it off, but it, had she not thought quickly... Okay. Yeah, because she, she knew it was not going to be that quick when we got out, because I was not in any... I wasn't ready to leave yet. I was, right. still had half a drink and all that shit. And then she brought up... She, she was brilliant with this whole... Went to the bathroom, came back, she's like... We got to go, babe. Like, just started. She was that angle, which was brilliant. 
And then, you know, as a guy, you're like, okay, okay. What, oh, you know, of course, what I do you need? She didn't have anything in her, but one of her friends was yeah. downtown and had one, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And uh, then we walked up to where she said they were, which you guys were all waiting. And yep. fuck, <laughs> there was a ton of you. My knees buckled and I, I, I had some tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a ton of people there. It there was, was there was a lot of people. I should have been was, recording when you walked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Was, you were genuinely like, God, what? Oh my God, what's happening? I just thought I was kind of busy. You know, when you walk in, you're just like, Oh, there's a lot of people here. I wasn't looking at the faces or anything. I was just <laughs> making my way to the bar. I don't think Simon was there yet, was he? No, oh, Simon, yeah, tell go. us. <laughs> oh God, whatever. Go so, ahead. I'm, so I'm literally the, first of all the text. The text says, <laughs> "Get there before eight. Okay. Right? Is that confusing? It's what? not confusing. It's so not if the confusing surprise at was at eight, then what's so, the? So I'm thinking, get there before eight. I'm thinking there might be a little bit of a cushion. I didn't. I didn't try to like be late. <laughs> yeah, seven to eight. It's a cushion. Uber, right? Oh. Was oh. very delayed. Not very delayed, but it took like, like two minutes. It took them thirty minutes to get to me, and that's highly unusual. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Crazy. It was a busy so night down when there. I did, been, yeah, you had the expo in right. town. You had a lot of shit going on. So when I when I did plan this, I was like, oh, fuck, this is landing me there. Like, I'm thinking I'm going to be 10, 15 minutes early. And I'm like, this is landing me there at like 8.01. And I'm like, fuck, all right, hopefully... She's like, get there before 8, realizing that some people might be a minute or two fucking late. You're right? Before, and then before 8 give is what a, the text said. Yeah, it was before 8. You wanted to say a minute or two late. Okay, fine. So make sure you're there a minute or two late. I pull up. Look, I pull up at like 802 R right next to this place that we went. Tavern Law is the parking garage and the my ride pulled up right in front of the parking garage. So I get out and I turn around to go walk on the sidewalk. And then I see fucking there they are. There's Dora, up and, from <laughs> Dora and fucking the lady right there. And I'm like. Holy shit! And I just fucking turn my head and to jump into the parking garage so, like area. Like fucking, did they just that fucking gave see it away. me? That like, gave are it you away. kidding me? It's eight oh two. I wish you had seen him so bad. So was that Simon diving into the parking garage? <laughs> right. And I literally, it was like I'm a, a fucking old Pink Panther movie. I'm like around the corner peeking, like trying to figure out. I'm like, was it them or was it just another very handsome? couple you crafted know? a periscope because you were looking really good so then i'm like all right so as soon as you i kind of caught a glimpse of your asses going in uh -huh. so i'm like oh they turned in yeah so that was probably them and then i chased behind you so i was <laughs> slipped in you I never knew the in. better <laughs> yeah i gave you a nice back smack i'm not gonna invite you, you to were... a new year's party ever yeah well, shows up eight or <laughs> be there before the midnight <laughs> yeah i'm usually pretty darn punctual yeah um it was it was uber's fault but that was uh, hands down like yeah my the best surprise that's ever happened in my life that was good that was good stuff yeah that was a lot yeah. of fun yeah it was, it was a fun, fun night it was probably 40 to 50 people there for, for it was stupid yeah stupid yeah. So i say how dumb was that bless you bless anthony, you, anthony. Bless you. yeah um yeah there was a, a lot of good a lot of good chatting i just remember really the end the, my story is like once I start to cry, I, I, oh man, to go. that I witnessed. That it. was funny. I witnessed <laughs> oh, yeah. it. I, I, he was so cringe. happy, but I missed our, it. Our <laughs> friend Cullen, you know, showed up. He's he a very I love before Cullen came. Damn it! Very hey, successful hate, actor these hate, days. Hate You've seen him. him. He's the, the main cop in Outer Banks and in many other things. And we've known him for a long time. He's been in yeah, some of our shows and stuff. He's, he's in Gemstones too. Yeah, Mighty Gemstones, all that yeah. stuff. Staircase, stairway, or whatever the fuck. But um. Yeah, Simon. Uh... At some point, listen, this was where I remember being like, oh, man, I'm just going to tell you right now how because it came. It was stemmed from from what I remember. And again, I was I was pretty intoxicated. Yeah, I was like uh, trying. My point was it's so great seeing him doing all these roles. Yeah. And like remembering him from like, you know, just just I remember watching him 20 years ago 
and just being like, oh, he's this guy's got so much fucking talent. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden I start I'm getting fucking weepy like he's my son or something, <laughs> you know, and then, and then so then I reach a point of like real all of a sudden then I realize I'm like, what are you doing? I was like, Colin's why are you face. losing? Like, <laughs> like, what's happening? And I'm like, I got to go. And I went into the bathroom and I fucking looked in the mirror and I was like, dude, get a fucking hold of yourself. man." <laughs> so we both cried on my birthday. That's fun. What have you? Quite a good reason. Embarrassing. Uh, yeah, he's probably like, yeah, he's one of the funniest fuckers I've ever met in my uh, life too. Uh, so Cullen's good. He's, he yeah. rolled with it. Well. Oh no, no, he's great. <laughs> he a- shit. After I, w- I called the Uber immediately, and then uh, <laughs> I gotta go home. <laughs> and then uh, while I was waiting, he ended up being outside, and then we ended up catching up a little bit. And uh, just talking about some bullshit. And I'm like, yeah, sorry, they got weird. And he's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> I'm you used know. to it. I'm a celebrity. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Really? That's I'm funny. It's great, though, when you see, like, uh, we went to see, uh, went to Dead Crow Comedy two nights ago. Yes, we did. Which and the show, show was great. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, just seeing some people I hadn't seen in probably 15 yeah, years. I love that it. That was awesome. I love it. And this was the, well, you probably don't. You don't even do you know Tig Mataro or do you like her comedy? Oh, yeah, I, I, well, I've seen her face. I I can't say I'm I know her that well. I yeah, know her gotcha. comedy that well. So what I was talking about earlier was oh, tell John the secret. It was just a silly little thing of like uh, they had an extra ticket, so he ended up calling me. And when we went, he's like, "Oh, I feel you, bad, so yeah. bad for John." And I'm like, "Ah, fuck." I'm, yeah, no, nah. I got, probably didn't. Even I saw like the pictures online. I'm like, "Wait, they all win?" <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I bought them? Like, I got she sold out and immediately. Did another show that sold out immediately, and I got six tickets in on that. And uh, Ada and her lady. Yeah, it was Ada's birthday, right. like on her birthday, so that worked out great. Yeah. Uh, Neebs was a big fan. As already, soon as so I heard, I was like, "Drives, you got to get tickets." Yeah. Get it? And so then yeah, I grabbed, you you appreciated it more. Yeah. than I, did. I grabbed I one for me and my lady, but she was working in Vegas this week, so the timing didn't work. Ah, there you go. I was so I, had that I was his ticket. lady. Yeah. There you go for That'll the work. night, and I didn't up. even know it was Ada's birthday. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oops. I said happy birthday. Ridiculous. Yep. Anyway, we yeah. shouldn't cry. Yeah. But, uh, happy yeah, birthday, Ada. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy Sing birthday, to her tonight. Yeah. Come to the streams. Well, this is behind by a week, but yeah. Tig's, yeah. Tig's up. She's like in that top tier of comedian. She's a very successful comedian. In my opinion, yeah. Like and this venue's smaller small. than what I thought she would do. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. Well, she did, but she did two shows. She Yeah, she was just practicing. Working on her new yeah. sh- special shit. And if you, you know? go, yeah, if it's a cool enough town, I'm, I'm just happy that they were able to get her. And I guess she was here 12 years ago. And then it got me thinking that was probably at the very first Dead Crow. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Which used to be five they had, the, they had, uh, That's the second. Two locations. So I the first one was underneath locations. Soapbox, right? And I bartended there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I, I think thought. she was probably at the beginning of the second one. And then I was like, did I see her? I might have seen her back when she was mm-hmm. like. Just didn't know who she was. Yeah, right. Probably did. I feel like I might have because I used to go to those shows quite a bit. I don't know. Anyway. And had you seen her stuff before, Simon? Yeah, I've seen probably one special, and I've seen some show a show that she was doing that I watched. I want to say, yeah, because she acts at least quite a several bit too. different episodes on. But then I don't know why I stopped watching it. I don't even really yeah. rem- remember anything about it. I don't know. She's got a. I, I just really like her delivery. Yeah, and you, her you hang on to every fun. Yeah, I again had a probably one or two more drinks than I should have at that show. You were like, towards the end, you were getting a little screamy. Not screamy, oh but like a little <laughs> bit more like... Uh, <laughs> the New York was coming was out. Well, no, there was at one point in the very beginning, I remember being like, oh, yeah. And then I went, stop. <laughs> 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 and then like, uh, there was maybe one other weird... Maybe like a louder laugh than it should have been, or something. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was funny. Hey, you having a good time? But uh, but no, I, I was I was quite conscious of it because then there was a couple of things that I'm like, oh, what did she just say there? What did I miss? And then I'm like, oh fuck! And then she's you know rolling with it, and I'm like, I'm I'm lost on this part. No idea what I can't she's talking about. I can't enjoy this little bit here because <laughs> I missed a crucial part of the story. Mm. Thank you to our sponsor, Rocket Money. And when I hear Rocket Money. All I can do is think of my pockets overflowing with cash because they saved me a good chunk of change twice. Once on a subscription I didn't even know I had and another one that I was being double charged for, for who knows how long. And that's why you need Rocket Money. But Simon, can you better sum up who and what Rocket Money can do for me? Sure, they're a personal finance app that monitors your spending 
and helps you lower your bills, and they easily find any and all of your subscriptions for you. And for any of those monthly money suckers you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. So please stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash nebs. That's rocketmoney.com slash nebs. What is that again? It's rocketmoney.com slash nebs. Did I ever, ever tell you about my, you've met Dre, my buddy Jeff, when we were golfing with him and yeah. all that stuff. Um, he, his laugh is when he gets to this certain point of finding something funny, it is a laugh you don't want to hear in a public place. And I right. uh, went to a comedy show with him once and oh. the guy got him to that level. And uh, I'm going to do a little impression. Here, I'm going to pull back from the mic. Oh wow! It, it goes into that's that, it, huh? and it's wow. like, it's just like this long, it's like steady. a cry. It's, it's not, not that's even a weird laugh. as so hell. The man. comedian, I forget who it was, and he was all right. Um, because <laughs> you know, are you getting heckled? And I think when he like saw him, he, he realized he realized he's laugh. laughing, and he couldn't say shit about it because you could see on his face that he was like just trying to process it, <laughs> and then just kind of move past it. All right, all right. <laughs> that's happening. Now have people. Told your friend his last weird? He knows. And he knows. and his wife knows and, and my girl, like everyone, <laughs> it is it is something special. Do oh. you think if you had a like a, a distracting laugh you could change it? What what do you mean? Yeah, like, I think like you that could work I like, oh, I know my laugh is absurd or it's yeah. crazy. Oh. Let me try to change well, my would, laugh. I don't know. You would think because he's well aware that yeah, but everybody in the area is looking at him now. Everybody. I don't yeah. know. You hit a level where it just becomes uncontrollable. That's where he's yeah. at. And That's I've the laugh it. you want to have, the one that just, so, just happens. And yeah. it's uh, like to get him to laugh, I love to do, because if I can hit that, and I have a few <laughs> times, I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I got that. But then after like 10 seconds, you're like, oh, oh, time to leave. Got to go. Right. No, no, no. no it's Sounds great. like that one guy from Red Letter Media. He's got a laugh kind of like that, where it's just this guy, guy scream. He it's has a high pitched scream. Yeah, squeal. that dude is an interesting feller. Yeah. Yep. I mean, there's people that are that have a crazy laugh, and it's not hard to make them laugh. Yeah. And you'll be in a Denny's or something. And that's all the restaurant hears is this one person's laugh. My grandfather. My grandfather had a laugh you could hear across the damn room. Like, I I remember several times when I was a kid, I'd walk into, like, a local, like, (laughs) breakfast joint or whatever. And just, I'd I'd hear, just in the distance, ah, ha, 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 ha. Like, oh, my grandfather's here. Yeah. (laughs) There was a, this might sound kind of low, but there was a girl I dated several years back. And her laugh, I hated and it like to the point I was like, yeah, I, I can't be around yeah. that. Oh wow! It was a deal breaking laugh. Yeah, uh, I could see that. It's like a Seinfeld episode. It, what it you just definitely described. is. And it was. <laughs> she laughs too funny. Oh, it's yeah. It was not. You're fun. like, I really like her though. I just got to find a way to be depressed all the time. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I right. really got to depress her, or somehow get her to really work on changing her laugh. <laughs> But how insulting That's, is that? Yeah, it is. You know, it's a little bit more insulting is saying goodbye. I mean, I there was probably more anymore. than that yeah, because obviously. of the laugh. Yeah. So she didn't ask why, yeah. and you didn't tell her. It just, you know, yeah. you grow apart. Yeah. Yeah. It when wasn't you, long, and it when was you a- experience joy, I experience the opposite of that. <laughs> this isn't gonna. Fly. We're done. <laughs> right. Your joy brings me sorrow. Brings right. Me sorrow. <laughs> we we. It's not gonna work. It's unfortunate. That's a deal yeah. breaker. Sorry. It is a deal breaker. As I deserve to be over. Whatever, I'd suggest rocks. finding someone else that has a stupid laugh like yours. Right? Oh man, that'd be a great couple to hang out with. Yeah, <laughs> they're both <laughs> not so, invited there are anywhere. So many good laughs out there. Oh, there's, there. a, there's a Reddit uh, thread I follow. It's um, r slash contagious laughter. It's just finding people with that quality of like he starts laughing and then everybody starts laughing oh, yeah. because how absurd his laugh is. You ever mm. seen that? Like Greek? I think he's Greek. Pretty chubby comedian. Shit, Stavros or I don't remember. But he laughs at all of his own jokes, which doesn't hurt him because the infectious part. Okay. You know what I mean? He's like if he funny. loses it and can't get it back together yeah. on a joke he's told a hundred times. Yeah. Right. He's uh it's it's funny, it's effective because his laugh isn't annoying. No, and some can, people have a great laugh. Like yeah. You, you want to yeah, be around you it. Hear yeah. So it just adds the the laughs from out and about. Well there's a one clip, it's in a different language, but it's um 
so many people have used it for like memes where it's just a guy talking and he's telling a story and he cracks up during the story. <laughs> but people have taken it and put it in like different, uh, you know, different text to describe what he's saying, even though it's completely absurd. Yeah. See if I can find a, oh, yeah. a version of that. I think I saw that. like a Hitler thing with that or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a Hitler thing. Well, I know it's not meant to be. But <laughs> I think you're yeah, okay. I know what you're Isn't saying. There a laughing he Hitler's going to see or something. Yeah. through Hitler memes again. Right. Yeah. Now you're you're talking about people doing kind of the same thing with clips from that movie about Hitler. Okay. Where they'll change the text for what Hitler's saying, like he's mad at EA dropping DLC yeah. and charging right. money. Right. I'm not good at memes. <laughs> nah, I'm not either. Mm, neither am I. No. Nah. I did just see someone because our community makes. Quite Great a memes. Few me- well, with us, they do from our live action stuff. I just I hadn't seen it, but it just was me at the front door for that pilot sketch, uh-huh. and I'm naked, you know, no shirt. Yeah, yep. and it just says, "Look at my penis." All right, that's it. Because you look down too, don't you? Uh, eventually, but not in that meme. Not in that. Uh, not in the picture. It's just I'm just, looking just at you, look saying, at, "Look at look my right penis." Right, and no Hitler. That's all you need. No what Hitler. What a brilliant meme. One. Look at yeah. that. Look at my peener. It should maybe peener could have been better. Peen. I didn't say yep. peener in the no, sketch. No, no. I'm saying maybe it could or have, have been. Have you seen my peen? Have you seen the peen? Have you seen my peen? Did you find it? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Put your mic up to it. Oh, I've seen this This guy. He doesn't have a lot of teeth, does he? No, he doesn't have a lot of teeth. Yeah, I've seen this guy. I think it's close to where it starts. <laughs> That, w- <laughs> that wispy laugh. Oh <laughs> so, Jeff, the, the back end of that where it got screechy. Yeah. That's Jeff. Okay. That's, That's great. That's Jeff. But, the, but is there the, it just, Jeff doesn't have the, I can no. do it. Look. <laughs> it does. It, it will go there. But it just, okay. there's a long. I thought it was just one. It's like the, right off the bat, it's a long sustain. And yeah. then it goes into all that. <laughs> That's wow. the same thing. I love laugh. it. I love, I love it, too. <laughs> Makes you feel good. So other people yeah. hate that laugh. Everyone else hates that laugh for Jeff. Oh, no. I love it. No, I wouldn't yeah, say I mean, hate. I've even, I've even heard shit talk about it. And, like, I barely ever hang out with you guys. <laughs> barely ever. I've, I've heard, heard rumors. This yeah. is, like, three it's a special the third laugh. time I've yeah. heard it. It's unique. So, and I even think I heard his wife. Say something. Oh, that's fucking awful. Oh, dude, she's a beast. <laughs> she's a champion. <laughs> yeah. There's a clip out, too, of like, it's like this redneck comedy club or something, but they pull I a member from the audience up there, and, you know, they're, they're trying to do the bit, and the guy they pull up starts chuckling, and the guys doing the bit start losing it, and there's like, why are these guys losing it? And then he takes a microphone, puts it beside the guy they have up there's mouth and you just hear it's like it's most ridiculous cartoon damn loony ass laugh yeah. la- it's it's uh it's like fingerprints really everybody's yeah. laughs so everyone's different. got a different one mm-hmm. man <laughs> things fun. are things are so much funnier when you're in a serious situation aren't they oh yeah are you not supposed to be goofing off? For yeah, sure. For sure. Uh, yeah. Mm. Man, no, for some I reason. I'm, I don't think so for me, no. I th- you're in school, you're supposed to be quiet or it's whatever. Yeah. Oh, then you can get, yeah, I got kicked then out of class several giggly. times. I did. I couldn't stop yeah, laughing. Okay. I'd be crying. <laughs> I remember crying being on movie sets with rallies. <laughs> quiet on the set. And someone just told a joke. And then it's even funnier because you're not supposed to laugh. Yeah. See, no, I, I think most of the time as an adult, I more I get more nervous, anxiety. Oh, but like, feeling oh, like shit. it's wrong. Oh, no, like, if, yeah, like, oh, God, wh- why are you doing Like, I'm watching you laugh because you're like, oh, I can't help but laugh. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hmm. They're rolling. Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is quiet time. Behave. Behave. Yeah, there was a Beavis and Butthead episode about that. They, like, told them they couldn't laugh. Don't do that. That was tough for them. <laughs> I'll bet that was tough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Church has got me a few times. Oh, you find something to get tickled in church? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's always good. Nobody's really going to get me in trouble, but I just know it's bad. Mm-hmm. That's just the Lord tickling you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Jesus. I remember being a... Get your hands out of my pants. <laughs> I remember one time I was in church. I forgot what church I was at, but it was me and my sister, and we were laughing at somebody in the choir. There was one lady in the choir that could not sing, mm-hmm. but bless her heart, she was there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you thought it was funny? <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> now, did she have any solos? Or so that it was obvious no, that you I don't were laughing remember that. at her? I just remember you could 
pick her voice out of the crowd. Gotcha. And it was like, oh, God. Right. How'd you like Tig's final joke? Like the final... The I've, I've noticed a lot of her endings... Because it, it's run, topical. ...run long. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about when it got to the song. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because that was a... Uh, yeah, apparently a true a story. Or and I'd actually heard this story before. Oh, you did? I think it was at like Ellen DeGeneres' birthday or something. Something like that. But yeah, I do like I like the bit. Yeah, and then hearing her play it yeah. was effective. Yeah. Anyway, without giving anything. Anyway, it was uh, similar in the... It's a good bit, especially when she was taking requests and someone requested oh, yeah. something. She's like, I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> she, she basically just can't play piano <laughs> or sing. Yeah, exactly. Right, no, And when someone requests something, she would just <laughs> rattle off some noise. Yeah. 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 But uh, I liked her opening bit. I liked oh, all of yeah. it, really. Yeah, me too. It was funny. It was a good hour. A um, little over an hour. But um, laughing-wise, our buddy Patrick, I think I brought this up probably in a previous, but as far as not the right place. His funeral up in the mountains. Oh, yeah. Our buddy Patrick way back in the day. And all of us from down in this area knew him. His family was very, very religious, and everyone around, like up in that area, didn't quite know the, bit the Patrick we knew. Yeah, mm. right. You know, Patrick, Patrick was, was not straight laced at all. No, nope. not at all. He was a goofball. He was From great, just a wonderful person. So, um, probably about thirty of us lost our shit Ooh. at the funeral <laughs> oh, because of what the the pastor was saying, of uh, talking about Patrick, and that that's that's not. Patrick, what you're right, saying about yeah. Patrick just and, and whatever the first person who ever started laughing, like just caught, and all of a sudden we're just all busting out <laughs> yeah. at his funeral. And his family was probably traumatized by that. God. Oh, and yeah, I'm sure. Guaranteed they were. And Patrick would have been honored. Patrick would have loved every bit of it. <laughs> yeah. So that was the most awkward time for me in my life, but it was. But I, you were, you were, I wasn't one, alone. You, you were still laughing, but yeah. I couldn't help it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it was wrong to laugh there, right? That and didn't with all hurt. of that, because <laughs> yeah. it makes uh, it does make such a massive difference when you just have one more person. With mm -hmm. you. Yeah, you know. But if you've got six, yeah, yeah, or yeah. like you said, thirty, <laughs> six, like like seven. Fire I'm, out of I'm laughing at like <laughs> fucking Auschwitz, you know, stuff. <laughs> And I don't think it's funny. No. no but all you no. dead people are laughing. Why is yeah. everyone laughing? It's making me laugh. It's contagious. Yeah. My dad cracked my grandmother up one time, and she was pissed at him for it. We were, <laughs> we were at a Crackle Barrel. Cracker. Cracker Barrel. Crackle. You said Crackle. Sorry. Is it? Did it's I cracker. say Crackle? It yeah. Like oh, crackle. yeah. I'm sorry. Cracker. Cracker. We were at a Cracker Barrel. Yeah, a couple of crackers at Cracker Barrel. And yeah. we were waiting for our table. And uh, this very large woman sat in one of the chairs. Outside of Crackle Barrel, the rocking chairs they got. You said there. Crackle again. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, like I, I, think, I think you should always, let's never correct them. Crackle Barrel. Ever. I'm not going to say it again. It's cute. We'll it's perfect. It. Yeah, it's Go on. Anyway, this, uh, this very large woman sat in this chair. And my dad looks at my grandma and goes, Watch, when this lady gets out of the chair, the chair's coming with her. She's like, You stop. <laughs> sure enough. It happens. There's a name called, and this lady tries to stand up, and the chair goes with her. Oh, no. yeah. And my grandmother lost her shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's just laughing so hard, she starts hitting my dad. <laughs> she was mad at him, but this, also at the same time, that's she funny. thought it was funny. Is this hilarious. the grandmother we met? Mima, yeah. This yeah, was Mima. Oh, the pizza great. place? Yeah. She was hilarious. Yeah, like Mima's great. <laughs> she was mad that day, too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, with the service? She didn't like the waitress. It? Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh. She liked the waitress. She just hated that she wasn't doing a great job. Right, yeah. She was so excited because, uh, yeah, I, I was coming to town with my friends, and she's like, oh, well, I'll meet at Nick's. It's like one of her favorite restaurants. And the service that day was not good, and she was she uh, she was upset that we got a, a poor experience, yeah. I think. But she and was it, still kind of being um, poor, but yeah. She was sympathetic. To the server. Oh, for sure. Like a bless sure. her heart. Oh, she, yeah. she's yeah, but you know what that means. That's yeah. her that's her pretty but much. But she, did, she her wasn't just like telling her off. She was like, No, that's oh yeah, no, yeah, no. She's no. like, Oh, she's got it tough. I think she was like the only server that day or something. I don't yep. know. Anyway. Anywho. Good lady. Yeah, yeah. sweet lady. Miss her. You know, speaking of crackers, um, and I don't want to bring anything down, but I, I had I had to bring it up, man. The Bigfoot video dropped this week, and there was a few comments talking about me doing blackface. When I'm what? a black character, I just wanted it. There was a few like I was like, "Why the fuck is this coming That's up?" Like already, black first of all, yeah, the history is like, well, when, yeah, that's really ah. weird. You could be a, a black... unicorn. You could be it, everything but, in the but, like, like, you what, can't in be... the history of of our channel. Like, wait, is there a black character in that game? 
in big. I picked yeah. the black guy, but yeah. I'm always the okay. black yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. It means nothing, and if you think it means so, you're a and fucking idiot. And it started yeah. in funnily in Battlefield with Battlefield Friends. Friends right. and the medic was white when I did, and then he became black. Now I'm black. And well, everyone shit told us in the uh, first episode, they're like, the medic's not, not. A right, white, and white guy. Because we I, I basically drew one character and yeah. just kind of duplicated their faces. Yeah, right. So you and then so we're like, oh, oh, the medic's supposed to be black. We'll make it black. And yeah. then we had a way of doing it through the beta, like yeah. it was part of the story. So and it worked out great. But yeah, it's like I'm not trying to be a black guy. I'm just I'm, I picked the black. It's like we have these colors that represent us, and in a lot of games, uh, there's a character you can pick that's black, and it's like it it helps you guys know who's who. Yeah. Exactly. We do that the best we can to Thick like. Let doesn't you have know. a purple mohawk. He doesn't. Or <laughs> believe it or not, yeah. beer. but anyway, no, that's uh, weird. That's and an we also odd color complaint. like you're the yeah, black guy and you're yellow. Yeah, yeah exactly. You like, know, so we all have a, we all have that that thing so, that, that differentiates us from each other. I know the majority of you, like the overwhelming majority of you out there, like you don't think twice about it. But the couple, I was like, are you fucking kidding, you idiot? Yeah. <laughs> you know so, you are. Relax a little bit. And they yeah. they're not it sounds here like they're too relaxed. They're, they got like, if that's what you got to worry about in if, your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You, you need a little bit more pressure yeah. going on. You need to get out there. There and do you something. go. Anyway, I had Jesus. to get that off my chest. That there was, was like, like Twitter a couple weeks ago. I think CNN made this weird post. It was like an opinion piece, and this guy was like, "If you use a GIF or, or a, I'm I'm sorry, a, a GIF of like a reaction GIF to a tweet that's." Um, and you're a white guy using a black person in a reaction. Uh -huh. That's digital blackface. And everybody was like, what? That's a fucking fuck? insane, man. Are you All out right. of your fucking and this mind? This is kind of where we're, what? this is probably where we're going to be going, too. It's, it, yeah. I mean, who knows? I, I hope don't want to not. <laughs> I hope not. But like, I'm eventually, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking in like 10 years, like the, the young folk are going to be looking at me like, I don't what know. the fuck is wrong? With you? Uh, you, 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 you're, you're, you're horrible. Yeah, no kidding. Everybody like, needs what? to calm yeah. the fuck down a little bit. Hopefully no, we're at the fuck peak fuck of, of getting down. offended. Yeah. Hopefully. No, Come listen. On. I just think I there's an industry to being offended at this point. Feels it. It is. And yeah, just people make money off being offended. Yeah. So they go out yeah. there and they got to, you know, they do what they got to do to make a buck. Yeah. Everybody yeah. needs food on their table. Everyone yeah. needs to, we, you know, if everyone can do, you know, or should do or be able to, you know, represent themselves in whatever ways in these fucking games. It's it's insane it's like, that anyone says, you, oh, if you're not black, you can't be yeah, yeah, grounded. It's absurd. You, it's you, have, absurd. you have four choices. And Bigfoot, you have four choices. Like, so if you're not black, you, you're black oh, right. faced by yeah. picking the black. Shut the fuck up. I'm like a little black girl in that game. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Shut ah, the fuck up. Come on. Free. Anyway. Now, that. We know it's the overwhelming majority. And then, yeah, what is that lead to? Is like, okay, now every developer has to have some sort of character creator? Like, so, no. Yeah. No. Right. That's absurd. Anyway, didn't want to break it down, but just wanted to get up. And no, it was, yeah. It's an stupid odd. shit. Mm hmm. Shits. <laughs> so, what else? What else now? Well, uh, I got to pee. Oh, yeah. No, me yeah, too. Yeah, me too. He'll be back. Yeah. Neebs? Yeah. It was nice. Uh, man, I feel like I've seen you out a lot lately. It's because of me. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Dralis' surprise party. Yeah. I was there before eight. And then, uh, and then wasn't there another time? Well, it was Tig Natara. Tig. Mm -hmm. And then wasn't there even another? Okay, so just those two. Uh, but that was fun. Definitely out a little more. Yeah, definitely more than years ago. I mm -hmm. uh, didn't get out at all for a while. But yeah, downtown is so nice too. There's so much to There's so much new see shit too now. Yeah, and all the show, man. First show we're going to is next week. Um, but it's at Greenfield Lake Amphitheater. Ben Folds gonna go see Ben Folds. I'm I've sure never it's seen gonna him. be great. I'll bet. And mm -hmm. I would see that show. And I bet you, you know what? I bet you I can get tickets pretty easily. I'll bet you could. Yeah, that'll be a nice venue for that. Wait, what? When? What night? It's next weekend. I don't know when. Okay. And Robert Plant coming up. Incubus. Yeah, we got some stuff. Wilmington's all grown up. You can do things here. It's pretty awesome that Tig we get coming. that we get people showing up because we do have that venue. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, downtown and Dead Crow. That's my first time going. Yeah, it's a great venue. There's it is. A, there's a great. great outdoor area where you can slip out and have, there's drinks outside too. Or I guess you could get drinks inside if the bars not open out there. They just didn't open that outside open yeah. up yet. And I've never seen it open. I've been there at least a oh, few really? times. Yeah. But it's a great outdoor area. Yeah, mm -hmm. and indoor area. It's beautiful. Great location. I could get why. What was it? 170 people when it's packed can fit in there. Yeah, so it's right. not too comfortably. Tiny. So comfortably. every seat is a good seat. Yeah, you pretty can... much. Yeah, even the ones that, wait, that are way in the back really aren't. Talking about Dead Crow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice venue. I, I got to keep an eye on that. See, yeah. Yeah. it's you easy know. to miss. That's the thing with uh, all these things coming to town. It's like really, really easy if you don't keep up on it. Mm -hmm. You like hear about it last week. You're like shit. And uh, kind you of know, stuff. At least with me, every time I go, even even. 
going through the people in the beginning, I, 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 I usually like them and sometimes they're not so great, but I enjoy the process of seeing these people the three people before the headliner. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Seeing you know, them work on their material. Exactly. Yeah. That's what a lot it's, of those yeah, smaller venues are. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, it's just, for me, it's fun. I've never gone to a bad show there. And I'm sure I've seen not so great people perform, mm -hmm. but I've always ever had fun. All the respect. And, the headli and their headliners are always, always been, great. Always been good. Hell yeah. So how was your pee? Was it, it was nice? great. It was great. I peed. Yeah. And then I got a, I got a coconut water. And then now I'm back I'm from back. the toilet, I'm having a good time. Yep, came right out of the toilet. I had it cooling in the back. Yeah, yeah. Thank you to our sponsor, Babbel. And for most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I took two years of Spanish in high school, and I remember un poco. I think that means a little. Not sure. But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there is an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. And their expertly crafted lessons are built around real life. So you'll be learning how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and more. And there are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. And right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash nebs. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash nebs for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Dora. Yes. Do you see the trailer for that uh, Tears of the Kingdom? The latest? Yeah, the new Zelda. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, yeah they're bringing it, aren't they? They really are, yeah. Uh, you know, I think there were, a lot, there were a lot of complaints about, man, this just looks like Breath of the Wild DLC. Why are they making this a oh, whole new game? I mean, in the beginning, I could understand that. Right, but now after the last trailer, it was like, oh, no, wow, this oh, has got some meat to it. It opened it the fuck up. God. And then little, so what, what is? I'm excited. I'm curious. I don't know anything What's about Zelda? this. Okay, yeah. but what, what's opened the fuck up? Well, uh, so Breath of the Wild was the last game. Uh, big open world. Huge this, work of this art. This uses the same map, but it's been altered by something. But um, yeah, the latest trailer just showed, I, I guess, new powers, new abilities, all the new stuff in the game. Okay. Like you can so build almost like abilities. scrap mechanic building, yeah. kind of. Like you can get super creative with all these things. And the verticality, like the world just seems like it's, yeah, it's gigantic. Up and down. The wise, building thing's going to be interesting because, yeah, and like this little demo they showed, you know, is like, oh, I got to get across this river. And, you know, he just picked up a few logs, glued them together, and then found these like little fans. And boop. Now all of a sudden he's got a boat with engines on it. And he's like, going across this river. Hmm. They could, he could have wow. made it look like anything. Yeah. You know, it, it's up to you. So you yeah. build little things to help you do achieve any, goals. Yeah. yeah. Do you build homes? I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't yeah. either. That'd be cool. Yeah, if you could actually build a house. Like, Instead of a place to, to, to live. Yeah, okay. you would hope. I mean, that, that'd be pretty awesome if you could build other things. I mean, yeah. I mean, it really looks like they're taking some of the mechanics that existed before and they're just expanding upon it. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, with this whole, like, okay, you, a lot of these things you can see, you can pick up and you can glue together. You can make machines. That's to cool. help you fight yeah. enemies. It's, like, and yeah, it's an open world. You end up back in the same places. What what do you mean same place? Well, yeah, I mean if you have to come back for a particular thing, but yeah, yeah just go wherever you want off the bat for the most part. Yeah. Well, I guess with the exception of in in Breath of the Wild, you could go wherever you wanted right off the bat. Like, yeah, um, yeah I'm curious how this one's gonna work. Yeah, where's it gonna start you? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You don't have to eat drink in that game, do you? No, no. There's, yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Just like for that. health. Yeah. Like just if to, you get beat okay. down and shit. Yeah, you can cook and make potions and shit that you can just to heal eat, uh, heal up or yeah. give you a buff during a fight. Gotcha. Yeah, but yeah, it's not it's not a survival game mm. in that sense. But I love like Breath of the Wild was my favorite Zelda game, so just more of it. I'm like, oh man, I'm so excited. It was always fun, to, just even cooking. Like, let's see if these yeah. things go together. <laughs> Throw a couple little monster parts along with this little piece of meat and like whatever, and yeah. oh, so it'll make something cool. So you could starve. 
No, it's to like to make things that like Potions give you or something. like okay. buffs and yeah. better well, skills. N- well, and now stuff. it's just like oh man, like the monster parts. Like when you collected those in the first one, you really could only use those for cooking and yeah. selling. Now you can attach those to weapons. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think I don't know if I you saw, saw that. that. It's yeah. like he had a bow and arrow, and like oh, one yeah. monster you get, you get like an you know you kill the monster, you get like a monster eyeball. Where in this one, he has a bow and arrow, and like during a fight you know, fuse the monster eyeball to his arrow, and when he shot it, it l- was like a homing arrow. Oh, you could see where it was going? Yeah. That's cool. And you control uh, where it goes with your controller? Yeah. Homing. Yeah, so good. Great. You can use the monster parts for more things. How cool. Uh, that's quite. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it's going to be something, for sure. So you're, you've watched the trailer for it, so when's it supposed to be out? Um, What's the date next, again? Next month sometime? Yeah, it's soon. Damn. Let me, let me look it up. So is that that's something that you could show us on a stream? Yeah, for sh- yeah, something like that would be cool. I'd be I mean, very the Breath of the Wild was see a, it. a work of art, man. You only did Breath May twelfth. Didn't you do May Breath 12th. of the Wild once or twice or a few times in the stream? Uh, on the stream? stream, no. We've never yeah. streamed any Switch games. I don't think only Nintendo oh, we've done right. was Mario Kart, and that was back when we were in this room. We played yeah. a little so Mario Kart once. That. Mm-hmm. So we can't. We're not set up to stream it. Not really. We'd have to bring a switch in and hook That's it up. All. I mean, it's doable. Not a big deal. But, yeah. Switches are so hard to transport. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that looks cool. Jedi Survivor's coming out. That looks cool. Is that? Yeah. yeah. A lot of cool games on the horizon. Look, survival games. There always is. Yeah. Yeah. That water world looking game. That looked neat. God, what was the it The underwater called? one? The, the it's breakers? Like your, the it's world's like underneath. World. World, yeah, the world's been flooded. Yeah. I forget what I that's called. Breakers? Too. Nope. I don't it's think a different so. one. That's. It kind of reminds me of Rust a little bit, as far as the look of it. It's a, like a survival. But it's underwater. Sunken land. That's Sunken it. land. Sunken land. Yeah. It looks oh. pretty cool. You can dive down, get materials. There are little islands and things you can get to. This isn't the one. Is there a space one that you're all tethered to? That was Void Train. That's Void Train. I didn't play it. You guys, you guys did a video. Yeah, we checked that, that out. Yeah, that was okay. That's cool. different. And that was like the that was the demo. Yeah, that was the demo. Gotcha. And also Nightingale. I'm very excited about Nightingale. Nightingale. Um, that's coming soon. I'm, maybe I'll get some early access. But that looks Ooh. dope. And then of course, Seven Days to Die Alpha Twenty One. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's When's go. that slated? It's not. It's not. They had a they had a stream recently where they were showing off some of the stuff that they're working on, which always indicates it's. Soon, yeah, and we're we're all in darkness fallsy. So it's like, remember we used to be all. That was usually what took us to get playing seven days again. The next alphas, yeah. And now we're kind of, you know, we switched it up this time. <laughs> now we're in we? darkness falls, and uh, yeah, I mean, when the next alpha comes out, though, I'm gonna want to jump into yeah, it. Yeah, check too. that out. Me too. I almost wish like darkness falls. Like, I I want all the quality of life features from darkness falls without the demons. Yeah. Yeah, the demons. The demons. You know, like demons? So damn intense. I mean, they're fun at first. Now they're oof. It's getting yeah. a little. I feel like though, when you see a regular zombie, you're not challenged, so you kind of need that. Maybe. Maybe just it's... tougher fucking zombies or more of them. Like demon is just it's uh, to me it's a bit much, but yeah. This adds variety. Well, but we uh, gotta make we gotta make the laser thing. Yeah. Now I gotta figure that out. Got work to do. Holes. Got work to do. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, I'm spoiled by Grounded. I want that in every survival game where you can just walk into the room and hit a button and all the stuff leaves your inventory <sighs> yeah. and goes into the right chest. That's, That's a good system. Oh, in seven days, that'd be, that'd be it so... It basically, for anybody that doesn't know, if you've got stuff in a chest mm-hmm. and you hit that button, it puts it stacks it with it. Yeah. So if there's things you don't want in a chest, don't put more of them. Yeah, well, you know, you can also, like, you can customize the chest to not... So, so like, say yeah. if you have a weapons chest and you have weapons on, you know, you don't want your weapons getting sucked out every time. Right. But in that particular chest, you can turn off whatever that suck thing's called. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. No, I love yeah, it. I've, I've deposited stuff by accident a couple times. It's hot I'm like, where's my shit? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Just a couple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I think only a couple, believe it or not. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how many things you've lost that you forgot you even had, though. Because I'd do it. I can only imagine what you're doing. <laughs> well, I mean, when I did it, most of the stuff disappears. It's pretty obvious, right? Oh, you want with the end? Yeah. Oh, it's my all games. Yeah, no, not Where's all my games. shotgun? <laughs> no, I'm talking about... You're in the fridge with the meat. <laughs> no, damn it. Hey, I listen, I, I should not get blamed for that all the time, and I want to tell you that oftentimes it isn't me. 
probably 85% of the time. Other people fuck ups. Blamed on me. The other week, um, <laughs> this few weeks ago, you log into seven days, you're like, I don't have any of my stuff. And we're like, yeah, you just died last week and logged out. Like you didn't, <laughs> yeah. you didn't, didn't even bother to go get your stuff. <laughs> well, if we grabbed it, we made a box. I'm like, Simon, here's your stuff. <laughs> right. So oh, well, yeah, no. Inventory's I, not real important to you, usually. Oh, uh, no. Well, that was just me trying to remember, which often happens the week prior. What happened? But oh, no, Abstro It's not the week me, after I'm right? talking about. No, you were right with the No, no, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the week after I'm trying to remember the yeah. prior week. But my so. point is, it's not the week after. During... It wasn't important to you to go back and get your stuff and make sure before it was you safe. Shut like, out. Eh, before you logged out. I'm yeah. done. Right. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It is. Because I always just go like, yeah, especially if I'm done with like, ugh, that was yeah, annoying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like that was like, screw that. You know, so oftentimes I just walk away. Yeah, I don't yeah, do anything. Yeah. I don't log out. Nothing. It's just yeah, like, sometimes and then the game I go, will be on for. Right. And I'm another. like, oh, shit, I got to I got to turn that off. I'm just standing there. Yeah. It's the best when you keep rolling. Uh, yeah, which and is, we all do that. <laughs> we all do we that, all do and that. I and I do that much. Actually, uh, extra less hour than, of less footage. than anyone. Yeah. I think Absro wins the role for doing that. No, I, I've uh, I've done it several times recently, recently where I'm like, damn it, what's wrong with me? It, That's better than accidentally it. not rolling. Yes. That's what do you true. mean? Who's done that? Not me. I just did. Oh, you. Oh, no, but I, th I don't think that was you that? forgot. I think that was because. We weren't sure. We kind of did a and test. I, yeah, I don't know. We Whatever. Rolled, I'm, I'm throwing myself under the bus, and I'm just wanted to say, yeah, it's no. better than not rolling. Yeah, yeah no, that's I the worst. Get yeah. that, and I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, that just happened not. on Bigfoot. Yeah. So how did that? How did that work? Well, I think I what happened. It. We know fine. Big Bigfoot's one of those games. It it doesn't record like um, when when you access or activate Shadow Play, it records the desktop. So you couldn't. We couldn't see the indicator. That it was rolling at home. It's half and half for me. Sometimes really? it shows the indicator hmm. when I'm getting pickup shots for that. I was like, "Why is it doing that now?" I didn't do anything to change a thing. Weird. Yep. Oh, but anyway, yeah, we had you stop and we just forgot to start you mm -hmm. again. Yeah, I got through it just fine. Yeah. No, it was, it was a fun video. I watched it yesterday. I think so much. Really That's a fun it. game. Yeah. It is. I could definitely play that some more. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. We each have to be Bigfoot. It'll be fun. Oh, I want to be Bigfoot. Let's do that then. I'm looking forward to because uh, you have two recorded. Yeah, I'm almost the second, done with the one, second one. The second one was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited about that video. And then one of us being a Bigfoot would that yeah. that would be great. Seal it off. And like, yeah. yeah, the first one people seem to like it. So yeah, let's let's do the us being Bigfoot one too. Yeah. Okay. okay. How's that gonna work? It can. Well, yeah. I guess whoever's the Bigfoot can be in the office, right? Yeah. Could, but could if you guys are strategies, I guess. Yeah, we could take turns into. They could be sitting in my desk. That's true. Yeah. So we can't see everybody yeah. else's monitor. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't want that you person don't to know, know where uh -huh. you guys are by just looking over and going. Yeah, we can figure that out. It'd be great. Yeah. I kind of want to hear the Bigfoot talk though, in the video. Right. Oh, I mean, not? yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna talk. talk but if you're right there, you don't want to give anything away. Like, oh, I see you. You know. Or yeah, something. but or you could be lying. Yeah, but it does mix mm. things up a little bit. But I hear what you're saying. It's gonna be a little different. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, a little different, but should be fun. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I'm whatever. I'm so happy we finally played it. Like that's been one of those games where yeah. the audience has been asking for that forever. forever. We was like, eh, eh, eh. And we I was under the impression it took a long time to find the big. Fight. I was too. That's why I avoided it. <laughs> it just for started so attacking long. us immediately. Yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't oh, long at yeah. all. Yeah, I think we were all under that same impression that yeah. this is a this is a process. Yeah, this could take a really long time. This could be a series. <laughs> and I like in my head, I thought like this could be this could be a mini series, guys. I, come on, I've heard. These I saw things. comments saying that too, though. They're same thing. They're like that they they thought it. You had to hunt it and track it. And okay, gotcha. Nope. Yeah, yeah it was more just involved. Like no, nah, just yeah, run around. And yeah. what uh like difficulty was it? Just average? Like I don't Normal, remember. Yeah. Or, I don't know if it was anything. easy or mid brought, or. But even I think we brought the Bigfoot down, like uh, as far as his health. Or something, but it's still loaded, and it still yeah. takes forever. Yeah, that first episode, we shot it. I don't know, like a, 20, a reasonable 30, amount of times, times, and it's just like a sliver off. And you're yeah, like, nothing. Shit. <laughs> like I think you need explosives. You probably. do. Oh, for sure. Got yeah. a big old health pool. He do. Damn bullet sponge. Yeah. You know that was a lot of fun. So, Apps, are you going to be the maybe next? Mm, you, doesn't matter. I One think, of us could be the big well, boy. You really? Oh, we you, all have to be big boy. Oh, I don't want. Uh, yeah, that, that, well, now we're committing to I mean, potentially like, so many episodes, but like I know I I don't really have an interest in doing it. Okay, but I, I'll try maybe. But I would think Abstro would be a good first one. 
Hmm. We get to see who uh, kills the rest as Bigfoot quickest. I think you'd be a good Bigfoot, Simon. Because, I mean, the health is so strong on those things. Yeah. I wouldn't even be able to find you. Probably. That's not true. There's, Maybe. there's, oh, yeah. He's got powers that'll, he's got senses. When you scream as Bigfoot, right? Um, it shows like a cloudy kind of red area where they are. Uh, and it's like, I think the, um, the cloud gets, if you're closer, it's whatever. But if you are like, if you scream and you don't see any red anywhere around you as Bigfoot, right? You're by them. You're in that Ooh, area. Okay, gotcha. There so it, it only takes you so far with uh, you know that kind of vision um, before you just like you have to find them yourself. But it gets you close. Yeah, that's where I could see. You know, I mean, I was watching some of uh, what was the the video that we did where we can hide as an object. Mm-hmm. Mm. We've it's, done a couple, and I was watching. I'm just I'm just not aware. I just don't see things. The things can just be right in front of me. But I'll I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll see. Yeah. So uh more we've been making stuff for the dumpster more. Yeah. Like like stuff that's not a stream that we're just re uploading. I've been enjoying that because that's just like something you want to try that you haven't prepared for. Yeah. Jump in, grab some drinks. It's kind of similar to the podcast, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we've been recording yeah. a lot like at the end of Tuesday nights. So it's like, okay, all the we've recorded all the other stuff and it's like okay now we got a couple beers in us let's play some halo yeah and sometimes we're focused on the game and sometimes we're just chit-chatting yeah we just talk about whatever played halo but resident evil that's yeah. fun to watch are you not going to play atomic heart over there see that's the thing it's like it's nice when we have multiple voices doing it too mm -hmm. that'd be also nice because the like the length of that to be able to just like throw it at home too right uh, if how I, long if is I that wanted. game that's a good question i think it's reasonably <sighs> Anthony, any idea how long Atomic Heart is? Atomic Heart playing 16 hours. Ooh, so that's got some meat to it. You know it. what I mean? Damn. More if you do everything. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? A lot of meat. Exactly. So yeah. it's like <laughs> committing to that with the whole yeah. group all the time, or even it's like, it'd be well, nice if I could do a little bit uh, on my own here and there. Yeah, but at, at the same time, at least this is, I, I think it's great to just start off let people see you yeah. playing it for the first time, and that's it. You could just do one. Yeah, yeah. it'd be an dumpster. hour and a half, and it's like I already recorded that. It's <laughs> the nice thing. It's oh, the dumpster. Well, then, just throw yeah. whatever up there. Right. Then yeah. if you already recorded that, it's like right when it, it came out. I was just happened to record when I was doing my first look, just in case I used it. Yeah, and if you talk through it, I would say you should I put did. that up. So man, dumpster, dumpster stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Now I'm excited because a lot of games we wouldn't normally play. I'm like, oh yeah, why don't we play that? Yeah. Check that out. Why yeah. not? Yeah, we've, uh, Dora and I played Crab Game. We've, <laughs> we've played that before. I yeah, know. But, he just... but it was fun to play it again. And uh, yeah, I guess you were just talking about stuff we haven't played before. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's also yeah, yeah, just fun to get in and we just, just screw around. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. also good for, I mean, there's so many games that come out that don't work on the channel. Yeah. It's like, okay, we can't really turn this into a series. It's true. But yeah, the dumpster is like a good spot for that. Yeah, I got to start looking through my library. Over the years, just how you start acquiring. Oh my God, man, yeah, no shit like, that we never I, did. I used to yeah. give Anthony shit for how like how many games he yep, had in his me Steam too. library. Me and too. Now I feel like it's me. Mm -hmm. we'll I feel like it's Steam me library. Too. Like, good God. Well, mm. We can also just like when something comes out, we can jump right in it because usually it takes us a while to figure out how to. Yeah, it's true. How to film something. Yeah. And I also think that it it doesn't matter if we've uh, played this stuff before. It's the dumpster. We got we to gotta stay true You're to what damn we right, originally Simon. said. You're damn right. Like I was, I've been tempted to go and play golf with just strangers. Mm -hmm. Just have some fun and probably talk a lot of shit. And you just go, hey, it's, it's golf with your friends. That's all it is. We, yeah, can't, we can't put it up on the channel because we've already done that. And we were talking uh, about like going and, and filming Axes. Yes, 100%. And that actually, I think, should go on the regular channel. Yeah. Because I think that live action, us I having that uh, Axis uh, yeah. competition, I mean, it would be a decent amount to figure logistically. We were playing last night a little bit. It's a good time. Yeah. And Dallas brought his axe in today. Yeah, I'd love to. We should maybe go out on like uh, showing the peeps my sweet axe cover. <laughs> the the axe cover is pretty wow. awesome. It's it pretty is awesome. amazing. <laughs> it seems to be an evolving thing. It is. It just <laughs> turned into something. Yeah. <laughs> See this? This is the showing it now. You like that, it's guys? How gorgeous! Yeah, it's an oven mitt. What? So it started out as just a regular oven mitt. Yes. It's almost like a like a general or something in a military. Like he's gotten all these badges, Man, he's, and doodads, and yeah, 
Yeah. Thanks. I dug through my junk drawer last week and I was like, ah, oh, add this and that and this and that. It's like a that. cheap ass dollar store oven mitt. And like the hat, like you have no idea even where that came from. I have no the idea junk drawer. Where that... Like you would, you would think you'd know because yeah, it's you a, would like think a it's a hat. tiny hat. It's a tiny hat. Where the why the hell would you mm -hmm. have, have one? Yeah, yeah. I was excited to add that. Googly Great. eyes, maybe. You need to figure out like a mark you can do for every victory. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what the com the company should do. Like the place you go. If they had little patches and little pins for victories, mm -hmm. you, you put them on your axe cover. Mm. Man, that's crazy. You yeah. can have a patch for every victory. Not, yeah, yeah. yeah. Want to, nobody wants Add to keep up, up with that. That's Add too up. much. Nobody. No. You got his market you market with, with a marker and using, pins. Okay, pins maybe. No, <laughs> people put them on their shoes. Little stars. Because I put like little. I got some Star Wars stickers on my actual axe handle that I had Star Wars stickers from something. So, I mean, they're like little planets, those size, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I dig it, but then it just gets gaudy, you know? You want to keep it. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. be look, yeah. look at this picture here. We know, obviously, you don't like gaudy. No, 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 no. Keep it, so, keeping it fresh. So, in, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. Yeah. 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 Thanks for hanging out. Catch you next time. Bye, Bye y'all. I'm